I'm gonna go ahead and drop Lightning Storm. Early on, I feel like it's, especially without a coin, I need to actually, like, without a coin, I have less options. Try to hit my early curve more. Like, actually hit minions. With the, with the coin, you have an extra card, so you have an easier time. And it's easier to smooth out your mana curve. I won't build Feral Spirits next turn, but I can do things like kill Knife Juggler. Totemic Might is actually pretty good with this hand. Since if I get a couple of minions here, I can Totemic Might. He has a coin still. <laughs> Alright, going for it. That's oh, good, it's good, it's good. <clears throat> I couldn't wait one more turn because he can coin true silver. The tempo totemic might. Best card. Reporting for duty. Not bad. I get to kill him for free with the healing totem. Well, I get to kill two if I swing in with flame tongue. And I get to make another totem. Feral Spirits looks good, but no, he can't even kill my Flame Tongue unless he swings. I like this a lot, actually. Because he doesn't have enough damage to kill a Flame Tongue either. Consecrate isn't that good here. And I get to make a totem for Thunder Bluff Valiant. So, if he wants to coin out Trusor, not coin out, just use Truce over, he loses so much tempo. But if he plays Trusor, I can't play Thunder Bluff. I could have done it if I got a Taunt Totem, but not without the Taunt Totem. Because uh, Consecrate plus True Silver kills Thunder Bluff, so... If he plays this, I can play Thunder Bluff on turn 5. Totemic might probably just want me the game. Just to car true heart. <laughs> I'm really tempted to make a guy like click this button. Oh, fire elemental. Oh man, fire is so good. Fire ones are so good. Click the I button, wonder. get so much value, but can't kill that. No, fire elemental is too good. He's already used to Consecrate, he needs Equality Consecrate here. Good, proven. Fargo Destroyer could be okay. I could try it out actually. Shaman vs. Shaman. I'm gonna go ahead and say Feral Spirits is better against Palm than Shaman because uh, against Totem Golem it doesn't work out very well. 3-4 against Feral Spirits doesn't work. Ooh, Totemic Might. My favorite card. Crack. It trades one to one there. I wonder if he's playing Maliga Shaman. Unbound Elemental. Uh, I don't want to hex it. I'm trying to think how bad, would, bad it will be. It's, actually, it's okay not to hex. I'll lose my totem for free here, but... Even if he plays Feral Spirits, I'm okay. The 
need to buff my guy hex first. The hex after. Oh, that's weird. Well, I, I guess it doesn't. Yeah, there's no way I can hex after. Hex first. I hope I don't get like Lala Walker Cho though. That's the reason why you would hex first, but you can't hex first because the frog is taunt. Seems like it's an overload shaman. Might be actually like same cards. Does that work? No, it doesn't work. Is there any way for me to flame tongue and then put the flame tongue in the middle of feral spirits? I would have to do that after. So it's not gonna work. Not too weak to lightning storm. So what if I totemic mode? Or I could do this. I guess it's fine to save because I have a fire elemental to deal the two damage. Prefer to totemic might a little bit better because like it seems like I have, I'm almost set up for a really good totemic might. If I can just stick one more turn of totems. It's pretty desperate. That's good. That's really good for me. Now I have a Fire Elemental. No Hex. Oh! I was overloaded. I didn't even think about that. Try to get healed through over here. It's a little bit too greedy to save one more turn, because if I can not lose my guys here to Lightning Storm, then I have a really good Thunder Bluff. Thunder Bluff. There is a lot at Totemic Might wins again! <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Uh, I can still lose this game. Has to be... Okay, I feel like I really can lose this game, but if he has Elemental Destruction and clears on board, then I can lose. I don't feel, I don't see myself losing to um, like board control type stuff. Lightning Storm is not, nowhere near. My board is too big for Lightning Storm but because of Totemic Might. I don't think this is quite good enough either. It does kill my guy. Gear use the hex. Let's go ahead and fire elemental in the face. Playing around lightning storm a little bit, and this guy's really tough. Whereas I played Tuscar Totemic, it's a little bit weaker to storm. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven damage. I'll probably play. Hmm. Let me just face him and just pass. I have like too many things on board, and I don't want to commit too much lightning storm. Everything I play dies to lightning storm right now. A really good hand against Priest. Ah. 
I need to figure out what, oh, what he's playing, because there's actually a lot of Dragon Priests right now. And if I get ahead, Flame Tongue can wreck Dragon Priest. I guess I'm going to put all my stuff on the left of the Creeper. Honestly, I should have played the Creeper on the left, but now it's too late. Turn 4, I'm going to overload. Well, do I even want to play anymore if he's just passing? It's Totem Golem, I can still play Fire Elemental on 6. Actually, I have Mindless Overload quite a bit right now. Because if he all kind of circles, it's one of his only comeback potentials. And um, then I can't play Drake after. This should be an easy Is someone injured? flame tongue here. Well, is it actually that good? I can't kill the Nor Norshar cleric if I flame tongue. Six turns into ten. Whereas if I suicide this, it's three plus. Actually, it doesn't matter because I can't prop get through, so. Let's see what I get. Ooh. I'm still not have lethal like that. I'm basically trying to play around second light bomb. What would play around light bomb the best? This is an 8, 9. 9 plus 4 is 13. Okay, so it looks like I don't have lethal. I'm just gonna kill this with Fire Elemental. Let me change your mind. Double flash shield. Well, he's gonna lose a card race, but let's see if we can kill him anyways. I have 10 damage. I need to use 7 more da damage. Uh, probably. A... Looks like I can kill him. I like Feral Spirits. The light shall bring victory. For doom Most of my losses of Shaman are to Paladin, and I think he's really good at fighting small minions. So this is a Control Priest. I'm not going to keep Feral Spirits. This is actually one of the best cards against Control Priests, but I think it's too slow. I need some early game too. Keeping the Rock Biter kill Norshar Cleric. I know he's running Death Lord as well. It's like a Death Lord Control Priest too. I don't know if he's a tempo Death Lord Priest. Most Death Lord Priests are tempo based. Running more one drops like Zombie Chow and uh, the Giblin Stalker, Velen's Chosen. But he seems to be really spell based because it's all double flash shield and things like that. Death does not scare me! This guy is really good against Death Lord, really weak against Villain's Chosen. I'm just gonna go ahead and play the Creeper here. Because I can't afford the Overload next turn, and combine with the fact that it's super bad against Villain's Chosen. Pizza Buddy, thanks for resubbing. Welcome back to the Strife Crew. Crowfist. We might be able to get through here. This 
see what do we get first. Flame Tongue Totem. I'm gonna play Shredder here. I'm gonna cash this guy in. I mean, there's no way that's surviving, so I'm just gonna play on the left to play around. Chowered Death. Because there's no way that this Flame Tongue is gonna survive, anyways, for me to attack next turn. I don't want to overload because of Fire Elemental this turn. There's two high threat minions. Actually, three high threat minions, but one of them dies for free. That's fine. Oh, this is a mistake. I should have kept a 3-1. Three, three oh, that was so bad. Hopefully I get a taunt. Healing is okay. I guess it's not that great. <clears throat> okay, this is pretty good. My Thunder Bluff stays alive. Oh, second Totem Golem. I can only use one if I want to Hex, so I guess I'm just using one. Thinking about positioning for Flame Tongue here. This should be the best. Since these tomes are weaker, I can flame tongue through like that. Do not push me. Maybe I actually should have like killed one Boomba with the Thunder Bluff first. I think uh, Flame Tongue is irrelevant here, so I just need to think about future Flame Tongues. Probably play my weak minions on the right. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's for greedy. I'm not gonna lie. That, that might have been the greediest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. Oh my god, it's a lot of damage. Ah, should I play the Flame Tongue? If he has another Light Bomb, it's pretty good to keep Alec here as a 3, 5. I kind of want to play Flame Tongue. Maybe here. I kill him anyways pretty fast. I want to play Flame Tongue because it gets buffed by Inspire, so it's a totem as well. Missing four damage, but like say it did four more damage and then Light Bombs, I think it's worth it because now Light Bomb is not nearly as good. I have to kill a frog, I don't want to get like um, Valence Chosen or something from the frog. Maybe play this here to play around death. It's not smart because it hurts my Alec here damage a lot next turn. So I'll have, uh, instead of 10 here, I'll have, let's say, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I don't want to miss lethal. No, it's worth it. 
So they have like bomb last turn too. Looks like no shower death. Uh, oh, <laughs> okay. Drawing for shower death. I'm almost out of cards, but I have double Drake still, which is really good because very hard for pre steel Drake. Okay. I'm getting to two here. Do you like to play with fire? Bones chosen. And then if he has a spell powerable spell? No, he doesn't need anything else here. Just hero powers, my guy. Except two though. Hopefully I can get the last damage in. Did you bring some fish? Cabal is actually gonna save him here. If he cabals and heals himself to four, kills this guy. I have a three attack minion. Dream. Wait, I forgot I totally forgot he played you, Sarah. Smart. I might just have to storm down the Light Warden. It's doing too much damage. Definitely gonna have to storm at least once. If we hit three, we can think about storming again. Actually, there's. Yeah, yeah, so forget it. Doesn't do anything, I think. Actually, it's not bad to play Flame Tongue there for two more damage. On this guy. Okay, that's nice. Because I can flame tongue the creeper. Although it might be better just to use flame tongue. If I hit this down at 7 4, it's easier to kill in Lightning Storm, kind of. I think it's worth it for this damage. Because it look, looks like I have to kill a Power Mancer or Lightning Storm. Is someone injured? Uh oh. I have no time for games. Need four damage. Ooh. There is a lot at Okay, let's go in Lightning Storm. I need a three on either one of these, the Pyromancer or the Cleric. That way I could have cleared them easier. I still have Thunder Bluff. If I Lightning Storm, I was doomed to get something stolen though. If I didn't Lightning Storm, it would be a little bit different. So I need to win with board control. Problem is if I don't Lightning Storm there, then like the, my lightning storm could have cleared the cleric and the pyromancer. The downside of lightning storm is it hurts the savannah, so you can suicide on next turn. I have actually zero chance. 